Just day be days before the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, pretrial hearings for the accused architect of the massive terror plot are set to begin. Lucas Tomlinson is at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba with details. 20 years after the 9-11 attacks, there has never been a trial for those accused of planning it. After proceedings paused for more than a year due to the coronavirus pandemic, pretrial hearings set to resume Wednesday. 15 years ago, more than a dozen high-value detainees arrived at Gitmo from CIA black sites around the world, including accused 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, also known by his initials KSM. Then President Bush announced their arrival. It is invaluable to America and to our allies. Were it not for this program, our intelligence community believes that al-Qaeda and its allies would have succeeded in launching another attack against the American homeland. The attorney for KSM's nephew, another Gitmo detainee, accused of wiring $125,000 to the 9-11 hijackers from the United Arab Emirates, tells Fox News his client was tortured. If 15 years of indefinite detention at Guantanamo have taught us anything, it's that justice for America cannot coexist with the abandonment of American values. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed charged with killing nearly 3,000 people on 9-11. Prosecutors say he boasted about planning the attacks. KSM will be in court at Gitmo Wednesday, along with four other high-value prisoners. KSM is one of 39 prisoners remaining here at Gitmo, down from a high of 680 during the Bush administration. Today, it costs $13 million a year to house each prisoner, compared to $70,000 a year for a convicted terrorist at the Supermax prison in Colorado. While the Biden administration is under pressure to close Gitmo, Fox has learned there's a multi-million dollar expansion to build new classified workspaces. Congressman Mike Waltz says it's worth it. We still need a capacity uh, to detain these folks uh, and detain these individuals and not put them in the United States. There's still no trial set for Khalid Sheikh Mohammed or any other terrorists here at Gitmo. Some officials question if one will ever take place, and even if it does, the appeals process likely to last another 10 to 20 years, meaning these men will most likely die in Cuba and not be executed. Mike? Lucas Tomlinson live in Gitmo. Lucas, thanks a lot. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.